All right, folks, so we're going to get into it. So I have some chicken breasts from Purdue that I ended up cutting and some vinegar to basically clean and sanitize my meat. I don't care what the CDC tells you people, please clean your meat for the sake of all of us. Um, I put my chicken in a bowl because I just didn't want to put it in the sink. And you see it's three large pieces, but like I said, I did end up cutting them. So, and then I added lemon juice and I let it sit before I started pulling the fat and the ickies off of it. I spared you guys the entire nonsense of seeing me clean the fat off. Next, I had to make homemade buttermilk because apparently buttermilk is not a thing in New York so I have some 2% milk because I don't like whole milk and a tablespoon of white vinegar and I think I might have used a little bit more than a tablespoon but that's okay and I just let that sit for a little bit so it can thicken just a smidget here we have the batter so I'm adding Flour to a bowl. I think, I don't know how much flour I used, but it was a lot. Um, so I put that in a bowl so I didn't have to waste any flour in a, in a bag. And I just started adding seasoning. So this is some breadcrumbs. Um, I didn't add a lot because I don't like thick crust on my chicken. And this was some onion powder. Then I added some garlic. I love garlic powder. It never steers me wrong. And then I added some of this Flavor God hot wing seasoning because I didn't have any cayenne pepper, which I totally did not know. So, and then I also added some crushed red pepper because I didn't have any cayenne pepper. So that was a major, major flop on my end, folks. And then next, we added a little bit of paprika to this batter. Not a whole lot, but just a, just a hit of it. And then I added some cornstarch to the mix to just help the batter be a little, little bit light and nothing too, too insane. And just mix that up with a fork mix 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 and then i put that to the side and got back to my chicken okay so now we're gonna season so i got some black pepper the chicken has already been cut up and stripped the fat all that good stuff so i know it looks like a lot of pepper but it wasn't folks next up a bit of adobo you know adobo makes everything better it pains me when i see people only use salt and pepper for their chicken it's terrible some more crushed red pepper basically everything that went into the batter is now going onto the chicken as well along with some other things my flavor god hot wings seasoning it's i love it so much like flavor god is the truth you guys need to definitely check them out on instagram next up we have some everything seasoning it's a little bit of everything in this nothing too crazy next up some onion powder and guys forgive me the angles look crazy because i was trying to hold my phone with one hand and record and season with the other hand so it's a little bit of garlic powder i didn't use a lot of garlic powder this time because i think i put too much in the batter the rest of my paprika we used to put in this and then the craziest part, the good old Red Devils. I love me some hot sauce. And this this is what what's going to do it, folks. This is what, what added that kick. And then I just mixed it around. Toss, toss, toss. And 
you you guys may think this is not a lot of seasoning but you got to keep in mind the batter has seasoning and then we're going to add more to this so you don't have to coat your chicken in seasoning but just give it a little bit of flavor as it sits and it marinates just a little bit not a whole nothing crazy folks not, nothing crazy all right so now we're making the sauce to go on this so again the flavor god hot wing seasoning we add that some more more good old garlic powder then we well a lot of garlic powder <laughs> then some more paprika basically everything that we use is going it's across the spectrum some hot sauce well a lot of hot sauce a lot of hot sauce because you want this you want this to kick and then to counteract all this heat i put a little bit of brown sugar in it and then what i didn't show at the end is that i did heat this up so the sugar did melt and then we just mix, mix, mix. Good old one, two combo. I don't own a whisk, so I'll have to make do with this fork. And then we're on to the next step. So once the chicken comes out of the fridge, I put the buttermilk on it. Now the milk didn't get as thick as I thought it was going to, but you know, I had to make it work. And then just make sure everything is coated in the buttermilk. And for the most part, I tried to make sure my chicken was submerged in it. And I let that, I didn't let it sit overnight. Like this was not an overnight thing. I'm pretty sure this would have been better if it did sit overnight. But ain't nobody have time for that. So I wrapped it up and put it in the fridge. All right, so we are out the fridge and we are going to start coating the chicken in that seasoned flour. Now, what I did here was I coated every piece that I used. I didn't use all this chicken. I did actually put some to the side, but seasoned batter, I did one coat first. As you guys see here, I did one coat and then you will see that I put it back in the marinade and then did a second coat of batter. So it was a double dip. And that was just to give it more of a breading. Like I said, I don't, I'm not very big on thick, thick breading on my chicken. Not my, not my thing not my gimmick not my forte <laughs> so just a little bit of a double dip and then here we are this is what the end result looked like and then we are ready to get ready to fry so like i said i did put the pieces that i didn't use in a ziploc bag and i'm putting it in the freezer to use at a later date now I'm using some vegetable oil. I think I should have used peanut oil. The recipe said I could have used peanut oil, but it's fine. So I use some vegetable oil and let it get hot. And I did make some mac and cheese on the side. Just give you guys a little glance at that. Nothing crazy. Like I said this was a quick meal. Nobody has time to be cooking for four or five hours. Not me. And now we are just frying the chicken fry fry and I had some spinach on the side which believe it or not this was a whole box of spinach and it wilted down to absolutely nothing I was so upset four dollars worth of spinach and it wilted down to that it's tragic and then like I said the chicken was finished frying I just put the sauce on it so and then I also was putting the chicken in the oven while the other pieces were frying so it would stay hot and stay crispy. My phone ended up dying, but this was the end result. And it was really good. 
So if you guys try this recipe, let me know in the comments how it turned out. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one.